All right, so let's give it another shot. I've restarted the computer again, and where is it? Mm, right there. Hopefully, third time is the charm. I dread that I have to go. And it worked. I'm glad. Oh man, I am relieved and glad. Because I was dreading that I have to go find uh, those command and all that. I oh, know. Let's keep it out here. Oh my god, thanks god. <laughs> I don't have to go and find those. Uh, it's uh it's not fun when you when you after a long day you have to do that first thing in the morning yes you can do but uh, later in the evening no you don't want to do it you just want things to go smoothly especially once uh, when you have already fixed them once before to screen without the scroll bars I oh, okay I'm glad it uh, rearranges out to the middle of the portion here <coughs> verifying installation configuration let's see what's in here if it shows us something and I guess no ext4 file system um, that's cool I keep dreaming about uh, setting up a dedicated Ubuntu um, desktop in my home so you know and like for anything web related uh, we should use that but uh, and that was the plan last year but when I did not play Vimeo and I was like oh we don't know what else it will not uh, play or work on it And I tried in all of the browser if you're wondering. Just for fun, let's see the performance tab, what's going on there. Okay, let's keep the here. Um, CPU utilization is pretty good. I'm very happy uh, with this uh, Ryzen 2700. Memory is good as well. Disk is. We are using this disk and looks good as well. So this is the M.2. This one is the SSD. And this one. Oh no. This is the M.2. This is the HD and this is the SSD <clears throat> so GPU is taking some load as well 10% I 
I guess that's the normal what it takes, but let's see. Installing system. Is it true anything? No. Everything you need for the office. Libre office probably, yes, it's Libre. Access for everyone. Let's see what else we have here. If you remember the old one, it was the air, I probably, a rabbit. And this one seems like a puma. Or a cat, at least. Big cat. Let's search. Now it's taking a little bit of time. Configuring hardware. I don't know if it's me or um, this installation probably taking longer than on our VMware than it took uh, on uh, I guess um, on Hyper-V probably it heard me
help icon in the dock so they have a dock just like Mac uh, the last we checked it was uh, right here on this side of the screen I have been trying to um, install Ubuntu, trying as in like uh, replacing at least one personal computer completely to Ubuntu, uh, maybe uh, 2006, 20, 14 years now. Back in the day, the because uh, I had a, uh, first I had dial up, but then uh, when I tr started uh, using uh, Ubuntu, I had uh, the Verizon's, um, it's called the uh, S, no, the high speed internet. The, that's uh, oh wow, <laughs> the name slipped my mind, but uh, I had that. The and at that time, Ubuntu, uh, they would send you uh, a CD. I got a CD and they sent me another one, uh, two CDs just to pass it on to somebody. I gave one to my friend, I he did not like it. I tried installing it, I worked for it but uh, when it came to installing some software because back then I was into multimedia, uh, video, so not video, the photo editing a little bit crop here and there. And I was in, I had my own blog I, that I had to complete uh, update uh, from the tweaks here and there the website and all that so I could not do all of that in uh, Ubuntu and I had a WordPress installation a custom installation of mine so I had to again revert back so he, every time I try uh, tried Ubuntu something was up this is the first time I intend to use it in as a virtual machine I had another one virtual machine in Hyper-V uh, but that was solely for fun purpose then on my laptop I had it for uh, I wanted to make it a personal computer especially for my son so I want him to have Linux as well growing up so in a couple of years or maybe more he knows a lot more than uh, i knew. i know i still st i still don't know anything about linux probably so this time i'm keeping this virtual machine so i can continue to learn things on it now it's saying installing open vm tools i hate long videos but the maybe this is going to be a long one because i see it's at 14 minute mark already and no way we are nowhere near to that beautiful login screen fail fail to start wait until snap is fully seeded hmm. There it is. There it is. Great. Let's log in and call this video. There you have it. Ubuntu S. Oh, wow they have their uh, SSO of their own it's not like a Windows Server SSO it could be uh, you never know maybe they they are into it they are up to it maybe one day over the servers uh, probably they uh, never know uh, but probably it's for to sync uh, your settings across devices connect your online accounts now I'm gonna pass this set up live patch 
yeah. Mm, or let's cancel it for the time being. Next. So the first report, legal notice. Uh, I don't send. Location services, no, I just need the terminal bash. Flex. VLC is good. Visual Studio Code, oh, that's good. Slack. Mm. This uh, along paper looks a lot better or um, before. Mail Spring is another program now. It used to be this one, Thunderbird. So Doc is still on the left. Uh, maybe we can move it like with. Remind me later. Let's uh, install it now. While it's doing it, this is how uh, this is it. Probably, I, I'm gonna play around with this a little bit. Let's get to the terminal. There it is. PWD, and yep, I have the terminal. I will be able to do my thing that I want to do on this terminal and complete my course. Um, let's wrap this video up here. I really uh, really have happy that it worked and I didn't have to further troubleshoot that issue it's up and running I can do all my uh, act I can use it for the next five days to it will help me a lot before I restarted let's go uh, let's wrap this video up if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and I will see you in the next one